guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be going grocery shopping and just taking you along with probably not gonna film in the actual grocery store but i'm just going to my local market and i'll do a little haul of everything i buy i'm going back to school after reading week so it's kind of a full restock except for a few select items like i still have a whole thing of eggs that are okay at school so i thought this would be a great one to film it was requested so i thought i'd share it with you guys this is just my grocery list i'll probably end up getting a few more things but i'm just going to take this with me i like handwriting it or sometimes i'll make a note on my phone where i can like check it off as i go but I prefer to handwrite and just have it in the cart with me. So it's actually a day later now and I'm at my apartment in Waterloo and I'm just going to show you what I picked up at the grocery store. I got red bell pepper, some cherry tomatoes, I like to get the ones that are different colors, and just some sliced white mushrooms. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk, I like getting the Silk brand, it's just my favorite one. A cord pineapple because I'm incapable of cutting my own pineapple from like the actual pineapple but this is just easier and I'm never good at picking a good one and if when it's ripe it's still not the best but I'm good at picking it when it's like cord like this it always ends up being good. Bought some poison sauce because I wanted to remake a recipe that I made at home so I just picked up some of this. Chickpeas because I had a salad um, with chickpeas the other day and I really liked them. I forgot how much I liked them so I'm gonna make some probably roasted chickpeas with that. It wasn't part of the grocery haul but I just brought some homemade butternut squash soup with me. It's frozen right now. I always like to pick up a mixed greens pack so this time I got the Organic Girl Super Greens. It's the nutrition of five baby greens, red and green Swiss chard, Tat soy, arugula, and spinach, and I really like this, and it's pre-washed, so it's like really easy for university. I got some baby carrots, red seedless grapes, because I love snacking on grapes. Season is kind of ending, so I have to keep switching between red and green to find ones that are actually sweet. Two things of strawberries, because I just love having strawberries. I got two things of raspberries, and two things of blueberries. Fruit. Here in Waterloo, I find isn't as good as at home, so I always get my berries at home and stock up on them. Hopefully, these will last me until I go home again. More carrots. These were just packed from home that I was going to bring with because no one else was eating them. So, another pack of carrots. I like snacking on baby carrots with hummus. It's really yummy. It's some Fiji apples. I love Fiji apples, and I also got Granny Smith. Those are my two favorite types of apples five baby cucumbers because I use those in salads, orange bell pepper. Recently got into having clementines again, so I picked up a bag of those. I like getting the small ones. They're easy to eat. I went to our garage, which is like a more specialty store, and I just picked up the Everyday Detox Tea by Traditional Medicinals. It's just a good tea that I like to have before bed. So I got the stash chamomile tea, which also helps me fall asleep. I posted these on my story, but I just picked up the Explore Cuisine uh, organic black bean spaghetti and the organic edamame spaghetti. So they both have 21 or 22 grams of protein, and it's literally just organic black bean flour for the black bean one and edamame bean and flour, nothing else great alternative to pasta so i haven't tried those yet before but everyone has been raving about them so i'm just gonna give those a go for the pasta i got this tomato basil pasta sauce it has no added sugar it's literally tomatoes italian tomatoes onions extra virgin olive oil salt basil white pepper and black pepper so a lot of pasta sauces have added sugars in them so it's always good to look out for that and make sure you got a sugar-free one. I just wanted to try out a few types of bars, so I finally picked up an RX bar. This is the peanut butter chocolate one. And then I saw these Zing bars, so I got a dark chocolate hazelnut one and a dark chocolate peanut butter one. So I brought these from home. They're just these grab-and-go breakfast muffins. I got the blueberry ones and the strawberry ones. Just put them in the microwave for 40 seconds. They're high protein and high fiber and low calories for all three of the strawberry ones. It's only 136 calories, 1.8 grams of fat, 
30.1 grams of carbs and 5 grams of that is fiber, like it's 10% of your daily fiber, and 7.1 grams of protein, and that's for all three that come in here. And then it's 120 for the blueberry ones, all of them, 1.8 grams of fat, 27.1 grams of carbs, and 3.7 grams of protein. The ingredients are really nice and simple. It's just egg whites, whole oats, blueberries, organic naturally sweetened blueberry jam, brown sugar, 1% milk, and pure vanilla extract. So I do have dairy in these just for this. I do try to stay away from dairy as you know. This brought this coconut amino, so it's just a healthier alternative to soy sauce. These fruit pops by DB's Organics, just the strawberry harvest. It's only 45 calories per popsicle and the ingredients are super great. It's just organic strawberry puree, filtered water, organic cane sugar, organic vanilla extract, fair trade organic elderflower extract, organic beet juice powder. So super good. And there's only nine grams of sugar per pop. I just brought up the thing of hummus from home that was open because I'm like the only one that eats it and then I got my other one. I like to get the light hummus because it doesn't have added oil so it's a lot better for you. Um, fresh salmon burgers from Nortown Foods. I love these. Um, there's literally just salmon and spices in them. They're really good and yummy and an alternative to just having like a salmon filet or chicken normally for dinner. Ground chicken. It's extra lean. And it's for a recipe I made recently, the chicken wraps. So I'm gonna make those again. Four things of egg whites from Costco. I go through these like crazy. I'm always having egg whites, great source of protein. Stir fry special blend of frozen vegetables from Costco. It's my favorite and I'll finish this in like three weeks, like no doubt. So that was my grocery haul. I already had eggs in the fridge so I didn't get basically what I get. I don't buy all this all the time, obviously, but I went home for reading week, so I had to stock up on a lot of the essentials and basics. You enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below so that you always know when I'm posting videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Alana Ray.